Sports Travel here with the captain of Team Kali, Jonathan, educating Americans on what is basketball like in Colombia, my ninth South American country for hoops. Jonathan, thank you so much for your time. How long have you been playing here in Colombia? Uh, I'm the captain of the team. I've been, I've been in, this is my seventh or eighth season in Colombia. Holy moly. <laughs> and tell us about, first of all, where you're from in the States. I'm from New York, New York, upstate New York. I uh, went to school in Long Island, down in college. Uh, from there, and I started my professional career. I played in 10 different countries. Holy cow, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. First of all, what city are you from upstate? Middletown. Middletown, New Middletown. York. that's yes, kind of off uh, 17, right? Yes. yes. And where'd you play in college? Um, Dowling College, that's in Long Island. What's it again? Dowling. Dowling, okay, I heard it. Yes. And that's on Long Island. What city is that on Long Island? Um, I believe it's Ron Conklin. Ron Conklin, Ron middle Conklin. part of the island? Suffolk. Suffolk County. Suffolk County, Suffolk County. okay. 10 different countries, and this is something else. So first of all, you look like you're in fantastic shape. <laughs> the captain of the team, the team is 2-0. They slaughtered their opponent the first game. Tonight was more competitive, but they pretty much had the game. So how old are you? I'm 33. 33, this brother's in good shape. Now, <laughs> when did you start your freshman year? 23? I started, yes, I started in 23. So all right. Old, yep. So because you've been to so many countries, mm -hmm. Let's see if we can let's see if we can name all ten. Go okay. ahead, try. We got Colombia. Uh, what are okay. the other nine? Uh, Italy, Finland, Qatar, uh, Libya, Tunisia, Bolivia, Colombia, Dominican Republic, Argentina, and then I was in Macedonia for a little bit. Holy moly! Do we have an Asian country there? No. 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 We don't have Oceania, but we got everything else there. We got <laughs> Europe. That's it. We got South America. Uh huh. We, what are we missing? No Africa. We got Africa, North yeah. Africa, Libya and Tunisia. Libya and Tunisia, unbelievable. Yeah. Now, let's keep it simple here. Mm -hmm. Craziest atmosphere you've ever played in international. Like just off the charts, nuts. Um, uh, good question. I heard this t t town <laughs> west in Colombia, Kidbo, it's very remote. Yes, uh, you know what, we go there on Thursday. Choco's environment is incredible. It's incredible, but Italy's environment is, is phenomenal. Yeah. When I'm my first year in Italy, uh, it's packed. I'm talking about. Give me some of the gyms, or is it every gym? Every gym. Holy God. Every gym. Series One of the gym. A, Series B. I played in Le Legadua, so Series 2. Series 2, and yeah. every gym was packed? Every gym was packed. Um, Torviso was one of the teams we played. They're in the first division now, but when I played there, uh, Torviso, they're another team. It was Wow. Because there's a lot of history there. Okay. You know, so basketball is really big in Italy. So. so Italy, basketball, huge, every place in his second league he played. Yeah. Now, in Colombia, mm -hmm. this town you just mentioned, would you say that that's in a class by itself in terms of just the atmosphere? The atmosphere in um, Choco and Caribbean are... Caribbean and San Andreas. Right? San Andreas. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Which great. one would you say is... is Choco. It's okay. a smaller, it's a smaller gym. Okay. So everybody's on top of you, it's okay. loud. And it's like it's a tin great. roof or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good environment though. I'm telling you, it's, it's fun to play in there. They do the whole lights thing, they dim the lights, they do the flares okay. out. So you like it going in there as I love it. I love it. Especially you come games. out of there with a win, oh, right? Oh, I love away games. Yeah. Now, he's also played in the Middle East. Did I hear you say yes. Qatar and Saudi Arabia? No, I played in Qatar and I played in, what's the other Middle East team? Qatar, Qatar would be Qatar. the only middle, yeah, okay. everything else in North Africa. Now, do they, do fans show up for games in the Middle East? Not really. Not really, okay, so they're still learning there. What about, now Libya, were you there before the Gaddafi thing, or after Gaddafi? After. after. Holy moly, what was that like? Libya was tough, it was tough, yeah. it was tough. After war, it was tough. Um, and I was in Benghazi, when they had the war. Right. So it was, um, it Were was, you concerned tough. about your safety? I was. I bet you I was, were. I was. Do you I have was. family at all? I do. I do. I don't have wife, kids, no wife, no kids, no nothing, no girlfriend, no nothing right now. But uh, I do have uh, mom, dad, okay. sister. So they're worried about you. Yes. But you have not settled down yet. No. You're yet. like Mr. Sports Travel, though. I'm 51. My mom said I should settle down. Yeah. In Europe, Italy is, is off the charts. You said you played in North Macedonia. Yeah, Macedonia. Yeah. I had a short stint in Macedonia. I wasn't there too long. Um, actually, do they have some pretty passionate fans, or are they still learning the game? They have some pretty passionate fans, yeah, but it's not like the other countries. Not okay. like the other countries. Okay, okay. So let's see, have we, have we, is there any we've missed in terms of you just sharing a little bit about your experience? Uh, I think we've covered we Finland. Covered all Finland. Finland. Finland was good. Finland was nice. Finland was, it was cold. 
I it's bet cold. it was. So they play in the winter then. Yeah, yeah, like. Every time is winter. <laughs> what? It's just cold every year round. It's cold yeah, yeah. all year what, round. What were the months that you were there that you played? Um, I played there for, I was there for, I played there for full season. Yeah. There for full season, yeah. So, so when did this, like, you know, what month or what, what I was think it I went like there, when the season started? What was I, it like when it ended? I believe that I went there in September and it was minus 20. Oh my goodness. Minus 20, sometimes it's minus 21 and 15. And what town were you in? Do you remember? Were you in the north, the middle, the uh, south? You know what? Focal Pole was my team. I don't we remember. Can, we, can, we can look at yeah, it. Focal Pole. I don't remember the town. No. Okay, all right. Let's see. A couple final questions because this guy had a good game today and he's tired and he needs to get going. So, of all the experiences that you've had, what are you most proud of? It can be a team thing, it can be an individual thing. Are you proud of your longevity? What are you most proud of? Let's, I hope this doesn't happen to you. Let's say you let's say this over now. Uh -huh. What are you most proud of? What do you, what do you want to look back and say, man, I played in 10 countries, but this is the thing I'm most proud of. Longevity and being able to be the captain of this team. Now, I mean, let's talk about that. How long have you been the captain? I've been the captain for three seasons now. Oh, wow. So you've really been grained yourself. How long have you played for Team Cali? Five, five seasons. Five, so six so seasons really, really you've really become part of this community. Then. This is home. This is home. This is home. Yeah. I've been to different places. Um, this is home for me. So it sounds like of all your experiences, yes. all the hard work that you've put in, yes. you found an international home. And at yes. 33 years old, you're a leader of a team with a great fan base. Yep. How much longer do you want to keep playing? I don't know, man. It's, you know, so it's told your body tells you or it's not fun anymore? It's, it's telling me, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I noticed your abdomen. Yeah, you were it's telling it me, it's telling me, but... Um, you know, though. I mean, I'm, you should be proud of what you've done. I am proud. Uh, I'm blessed to be able to continue to play this game. You know, as long as, you know, God allows me to continue to play and motivate others. That's most important. Mm -hmm. I can continue to motivate others, motivate my teammates, pour into this community in, in Cali, and the love here is just fun out like by, you know, the, the, the owner of my team. It's, he just trusts me with everything he has. And that for me is everything. So if I walk away today and tomorrow, I'd like to say, I can leave and I can always come back to here because this is home, you know. So. And, and, and I definitely detected the New York accent, which I, which I can't do, by the way. But John, thank you so much Appreciate for your time. You. Very thank kind. You. Thank you. You should be very proud of what you've thank done. Thank you very much. And thank as I tell people, live the dream as long as you can, because yes. you never know when it's going to end. 33 years old, 10 countries, captain, five, six years in Cali. A, they call it Ciudad Deportivo for a reason. I was at the Clasico last night. Okay. The football it was insane. <laughs> Medellin's Clasico, I was there too, but last night was off the charts. Mr. Sports Travel, over and out. Jonathan, thanks again, my friend. Thank you. Good luck to you Thank this you. season. Bye-bye, folks.